Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about the results list that you see after running your dialog search. The results list is an opportunity to evaluate your search results and select which ones to download, or maybe decide that you'd like to modify your search parameters at that point. The results list is designed to be flexible, and it offers a number of options to help you, so let's get started. Here we have run a search, and we're looking at the first page of results. For this demonstration, we're in the full text patent databases. Dialog has 32 of them, but the non-patent literature results lists work much the same. As you can see, our search got 135 results, and we're seeing the first 20 of them on this screen in what's called the brief view. Part of the result list's functionality is that if you see a record in the list that you want to investigate further, you can go to it directly from the results list by clicking the title instead of having to download it right away. And this method makes it easy to go right back to your list afterward. Up here is where you can click to get any one of the three views called brief or detailed or quick, short for keywords in context. The brief view displays just the basic info on each record, so it's great for scrolling through a list to see what your search is doing. The look of it can vary a bit across databases or with the kind of account you have, but typically it may show you just the title, the publication date, and the database. The detailed view shows you more information Again, the content may vary a bit, but it's going to show you more detail. Here, for example, the detailed view gives us parts of the text showing some appearances of our search terms, and because of the patent databases that we're in, we also get thumbnails of images here. So, advanced view might serve you better as you begin to zero in on results that you're evaluating from the list. The third choice is called Quick, and this will show you not just a few, but all instances of your search terms, either throughout the whole record or in the parts of the record that you searched in, in this case, title and abstract, with some additional text surrounding those words for context. Once you're in Quick, you can choose either single color, which will be yellow, or you can choose multi for multicolor to get a different color highlighting for each of your search terms, which can be a big help visually to find where each term is used. So, Quick View tells you more about the record and lets you see whether your terms are used in the context and in the meaning that you had in mind. Quick will show you, for example, if your search for cat or dog is getting you a lot of records about cat scans. If that's the case, Quick will let you skip over those records for download or maybe decide to modify your search based on the quick results. You also have the option to hide quick for any record as you scroll through, which can let you get to the next record faster because sometimes quick can be pretty long. And then if you want, you can toggle quick on and off using show quick and hide quick. Another display feature in results list is the preview. If you hover over Preview next to a title, you'll see some valuable information from that record, generally including the keywords, which can tell you a lot, and in some cases, part of the abstract. Notice that the quick highlighting carries over into the preview, so the preview can be a big help to you. Here in these patent databases, you'll notice that the preview contains links where you can download a PDF of the full original patent document. There's another PDF link down here, and there's a similar feature for PDF links in some of the non-patent databases. Additional options in results list, you see over here, there's a sort dropdown where you can choose to have the newest records on top or the oldest on top, or you can sort by relevance which has an algorithm behind it, but basically it's going to put the records on top that make the most references to your search terms. And down here, 
You can change the number of records that you get on each page or screen of your results list. Right now we have 20 per page, but you can change that to 10 or 50 or 100 records per page if you prefer. This can be changed on the fly from the results list, just like sort. Or if you go to preferences, you can change the defaults for this and some other results list features. So that's it. We've seen what the results list page contains and the ways you can modify the display to get the most out of it. The results list is a key part of your workflow in Dialog, and by understanding its features, you can use the results list to its maximum effectiveness. If you want more information, here are some links to additional resources. And if you have questions or could use some help, you're welcome to call us at these numbers, or you can email us at customer at dialogue.com. Thanks for using Dialog, and enjoy the rest of your day.